Hi, I'm Bill the Piano Tuner. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to finish up working on our Sterling Baby Graham. We're going to adjust the problem of tight key bushings. In order to work on key bushings, we have to remove the top action. See this screw down here? We got to loosen this screw until it's all the way out. We use a magnet tool that you can buy in any automotive store. Touch the screw and pull the screw out. Now because we're out in the field, we don't have a workbench, we're going to use the bench as a workbench. We cover the bench to protect it from any damage the action may cause. Grab the action, balance it, and scoot it onto the bench. Now I'm going to remove the screws that hold the top action. After you have all the screws removed, you take the top action, pull it off, and place it inside the action cavity to get it out of the way. Now the only thing left to remove is the key up stop rail. Now to check to see whether the key bushings are all right, you lift the key about an eighth of an inch above the balance rail and let go. If it drops all the way down in the front, you know the key bushings are all right. Check the second one. That's all right. And you go all the way up and check and mark with chalk any ones that are hanging up. Now you can see how this one doesn't go down the front. It means the key bushing's tight. So you remove the key. Now remember, when using the key easing pliers, you're not squeezing wood. You're just flattening out and snugging up the felt. The front is where I think it was tight. So we'll just snug it a little bit on either side. Put it back in and see if we've solved the problem. Now you can see it drops free all the way down. We have a couple more that are a little tight up here we'll dress. And that's what's involved in addressing tight key bushings. And until next time, I'm off to tune pianos where I'll be perfecting each note one key at a time.